Well, we couldn't resist coming back to uh, the far north. Last time we got um, up to around about probably eight kilo fish, and today's been uh, maybe even better, although fish have been quite hard to come by. Come by again. <laughs> We've already got a 20 pounder, had another raw monster on, and it's just fallen off. We thought we'd go and uh, bring you guys into it, but wah wah. So yeah, it's come off. Well, yesterday we uh, jinxed me by putting the camera on. We've got some pretty good fish. But uh, today, hope, hopefully, this is going to turn out a little bit better. Hooked something quite big. Um, potentially going under the boat, so got a little bit of uh, dicey stuff to go here. Just got to clear the hull. And yeah, very nice fat fish. This is what we come here for. These big Northland snapper. You always know it's, oh gee, that's heavier than you think. Oh yeah, jeez. That's a pretty good size, that's a very fat heavy fish. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. When the, you know when the, be the net's bending, that it's a good one. Just gonna wet my hands. Let's drop it. I drop it, it's dinner. But, oh, little fat, 13 or 14 pounder. I'm with my friend Conrad Attenberger, he's been with us, uh, I've known him for a long time, many years now. And we started off uh, mostly fishing baits actually, uh, for mm. uh, quite small snapper, Penny Snapper, Pilly. and that's how you got Penny, your, um, that's how you got your, uh, your nickname Small Snapper Specialist, and you actually admittedly gave it to yourself, which I thought was very brave it's of you. It's a badge of honour, it's a yep, badge of yep, honour. Yep. And um, we've had just an awesome time in those years. We've gone from there to uh, fishing for marlin. We've caught big yellowfin, uh, mm. kingies, puka, all sorts of stuff. Mm. Um, but over the years, I've just seen a bit of a change. Like I know that you know you're always so keen on your bait, and but you've slowly moved into the lures more. I've always been a real keen um, lure fisherman for a long time. But you, you know, you still really enjoy your bait fishing as well. Um, but yep. there's some aspects that I think you you might enjoy with um, fishing lures now. And we've yeah, had a absolutely. pretty good time. What, what, do you, what do you reckon about the last couple of days, mate, with Lewis? Oh, well, it's a special place, isn't it? You know, <clears> to start Yeah, we're with. in Hohora, by the way, folks. We're just staying in the camp here in Pukanui Lodge. Yeah, and today, the weather was spectacular. Mm, I mean, to how, start with. How could you not enjoy a day like today? But mm. the, the lure fishing is just, it's so diverse. We just, you catch, you don't know what you're going to catch. So um, what, um, I, I won't put you in a spot, we were fishing knife jigs today. Mm -hmm. And, um, can, and, and, just what were we catching on those, mate? Well, gee, it's what were we catching? What, what, what didn't we catch yeah, would be yeah. easier to describe, almost. But the kingfish were certainly the mm. standout, mm. Um, you know. But there was the other species of snapper and um, dory, um, pink mau mau. Yep. Yeah. So quite a few. I was I was really impressed. Like you know, these things. Oh, I should have. Geez, that's something we should have uh, brought. Was along a couple of our little knife jigs, which. Um, mm. We've been banging on about them a little bit um, for a while. They're 16, 80 grams. They're quite streamlined, and they uh, work very well. Uh, yeah, Paul's going to go and get some, I hope. And um, what we found is that not only do they catch a lot of snapper, but they happen to work really well for kingfish as well. And uh, not just little ones. We've been catching quite a few legal ones. Um, they've really uh, uh, been taking these lures well. We're just doing quite a quite a medium speed uh, mechanical jigging action, mm. and or just yo-yoing yo -yoing on the bottom if we want snapper. Um, but uh, today it was mostly uh, medium pace uh, mechanical jigging, and uh, you had some real good battles today. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I lost. The gear it. was light, wasn't it? What the gear was light. Oh, that, mm. that was the first thing I noticed mm. um, from going to a, an eighty pound. Outfit, um, stick baiting or, or, or jigging is the case. Because you've got either. quite a unique outfit. Can you tell well, them what you're using? Well, I'm using a stick bait outfit um, to to. Because you beat your own drum, don't you? Mechanical jig. Yeah. Well, you just use what you've got. You know, you have to sometimes. Um, 
and I, I did learn that it was particularly hard on my arms. <laughs> and um, did it, we tell you this? Uh, once or twice, <laughs> you know, they banged on about it. You know, they gang up on me and bang on about what I what I'm doing. That's because we love you, mate. Yeah, like, we we yeah. like the fact that you do things yeah. a bit different. They're beating it into yeah, me, and yeah, slowly yeah. I, abs I absorb it. Slowly. <laughs> but yeah, so today, just for those of you who didn't see the videos, and you should probably go and have a look at the uh, Facebook um, posts that we did on our on our on some of the uh, kingfish action we had. But we're using our little micro jig rods. And you were actually you you actually had a prototype flea outfit. So we're talking about really bendy, really spindly little uh, rods. They gave me the lightest rod in their collection yeah. because they thought even I couldn't stuff it up with such a light rod. And uh, well, actually, to be honest, it was more like um, it's that's more like if anything's going to break, it's going to yeah. be that one. And we really yeah. want to see something spectacular. It was, but you yeah. gave that rod absolute death. death. Yeah, it was. It good. was like the tip was pretty much on the water. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah that was a um, nice big kingfish. I, you I had, had a good. I, I reckon that was it was like a good 15, 16 kilo kingy probably. Mm, mm. And um, you had it on the way up, and it was yeah. just really unfortunate that um, in the middle of it, you might have got too ham fisted. <laughs> <laughs> or not, you know, you might have been, you, know, well, you might have had bad luck too. So, mm. uh, who knows what happened? Like, whatever happened, the, the line parted. But yeah. it's this little puppy here doesn't look like anything too fancy, except it just works bloody well. Ocean Angler knife jigs, and all the colours seem to work today. Too, yeah, eh? well, that's that's the one I probably like the least, yeah. and used it today, and and yeah. and that got two nice kingfish for us. Yeah. Um, and we had the orangey reedy ones, yep, didn't we? Yep. As well. Uh, whatever, basically, whatever um, Paul said wouldn't catch um, yeah, any fish. Yeah. We we put on and um, found that they did. Um, so you we know, we tended to gravitate to the opposite of what yeah, Paul was saying. Yeah, yeah, Because like he had this negative energy. He's managed to go and expel a bit of it today. So yeah. that's why I think this today is just all about his redemption. It's like he came a little bit right today. He was going in the right direction, and so next time we're looking um, forward to bouncy Paul back to his you know number one self and um, you know he'll be sitting next to me rather than Conrad who you know is still basically you know number well you know you're right I'm, up there I'm, in the top two. <laughs> I'm the cabin boy let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> you are mate you're, you're definitely the, the cabin boy. The, I've been promoted to the cabin boy yeah, I think. Yeah yeah. Um, so yes it was it was great to be fishing these in 100 meters of water so we're not talking about a lure that um, even though it's quite quite small we were able to get down 100 meters admittedly it was a nice day so it's beautiful um, that did help um, and uh, we had some some things that weren't quite as good too for example um, we didn't actually do that well on sliders which is something that we're just not used no. to doing um, slider the provider no, it's, it's really su yeah. really surprised because that, that's that, my go-to yeah, everything absolutely. that's everything you which know. which colour's your favourite, mate? Oh well, the the orange slider. Oh, for goodness! I, I, Don't I, be a cliche. You're I just, supposed to be different I just from everyone else. Wouldn't go anywhere without an orange slider, and mm. I, I use mm. it up here, and yeah. I, I don't I don't know. I think there's there's more to learn. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'll work. What what sort of weight, mate? Uh, I think I was on 140 today. Oh yeah, yeah. I was not fairly deep, but I only used it in 40 meters plus. I didn't use it in, <clears> in the shallow spots. Um, but yeah, uh, but the best thing about going to those. And that light gear was it was so beautiful mm, to use. Mm, mm. It's not tiresome. You still feel like you're having a good fight with the fish and getting it to the surface. Yep. They're very capable. And know? I reckon it was taking us about ten minutes for us to land those fish yep. um, that were up to around about eleven. I reckon eleven or twelve kilos. Probably eleven. Eleven or twelve kilos. Yep. Except the one and, I lost. Except for the one you lost. Much yep. Um, and I think it's just because the lighter gear actually doesn't make the fish get upset. Mm. They seem to come in better, provided you keep your fighting style nice and um, smooth. smooth eh? Yeah, um, yeah we, we were doing pretty well, I thought, and um, it was just a refreshing change. Like, Paul and I did it last time, and we, we um, uh, caught quite a bundle of fish, uh, kingfish, the same sort of way. And so Paul's been, you know, really sort of saying, come on, mate, we've got to go and do it again. And it, and it was, we, we had a bit of a glimpse of that fishing. We really oh, only, beautiful today. We, we got yeah. a about, I think we hooked up about four. I yeah. think uh, so. It wasn't as full on as last time, but it was definitely a lot of fun. And um, yeah, so totally. we'll, we'll go and do it again. But, um, thanks very much for watching this, and we'll catch up with you soon. It's Mark Kittish from Ocean Angler with Conrad Attenberger See ya. and our director Paul Senior behind the camera there. Okay, yes, give a wave. That's <laughs> nice, mate. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs>